Hello and welcome back. So in this segment I'm going to show you how to set up your ePortfolio. There are lots of platforms for ePortfolios but the one that we've chosen is a blog platform called WordPress. So the first thing you do is open the website wordpress.com. Now the more observant amongst you will notice that this is not in English, it's in Arabic. Six years in the Gulf and I can recognize it pretty good. So um, the first thing we need to do is change the language. So let's scroll all the way down and you can see right at the bottom language. Click on that and select English. OK. Our blog is now set up in English. May not be important for you as an Arabic speaker, but for me as a non-Arabic reader, it certainly is important. OK. What's the next thing we're going to do? Yep, we're going to click on Create Website. And we're going to choose an address. So I'm going to create one for my friend Wade and I'm going to call it course code LSC1103 and then my friend's name Wade Munsell and that is going to be Wade's blog. His email address. I suggest you use your HCT address here rather than a private address. And a username, again, we're going to go for course code, LSC1103. And password, Wade's cat, Winky. Oh, Winky1. Winky one dot. Okay, Winky one dot. We mustn't forget that one. I'll be asking you that in a second. Okay, next step. Okay, find a custom address. The website's trying to get your money, so we're going to choose no thanks. And we're going to choose a theme. Again, some of the themes are pay themes, so we're going to avoid those and go for a free theme. So I've now set up my first page, I've chosen my theme and again you can see three options here guess which one we're going to choose the best one. So we've chosen the free options don't forget to choose those free options. Okay now later on maybe you can come back if you want to customize your site and in another video I'll give you some more hints and tips on how to do that but for the moment let's start with the basics and write a post okay now we've got a message come up it says please verify your email address okay so we now need to go to Wade's email address or um, where it says uh, resend confirmation email, it can send it again or send to another email address. So I'm just going to go off for a second, I'm going to go to Wade's email address and I'm going to press confirm and then I'm going to come back. So if you're following me I'd like you to do that now. Go to your email address, press confirm and then I'll see you back here in a second.